my dear boy. You are a hero of the Republic. Caesar himself could not have conjured a finer victory. I am Caesar himself, technically speaking. Indeed. On behalf of the Senate, we are deeply thankful. Not quite thankful enough to give me the triumph I asked for. Uh, now, there I'm doing you a favour. Mutina was a lovely victory, it's true. But it was a victory over other Romans. And, with all respect, Hershey's and Panzer. Hershey's and Panzer are dead. May the gods feed them, honey. They are dead. But it is well known that actual command of the battle was in their hands. The purpose of a battle is to remain alive. They did not. I did. Indeed. Even so, the victory is not quite complete. Mark Antony still lives. He still has men. We have had to send Marcus Lepidus and two legions north. Lepidus? Sending your very best, then. I have every confidence that Lepidus will succeed. Then he may have a triumph, too, if he wants one. The people would not look kindly on a triumph, not with your army at the walls of the city. A little unsavoury, perhaps. Now there, there he has a point. How good of you to say so. I bend to your wise counsel, then. No triumph. Now, we shall still find some fitting way to celebrate your glory. Perhaps the temple to Caesar victorious. This sounds rather fine, doesn't it? If I cannot have a triumph, I was rather thinking of taking the consul's chair. You wish to be consul? It's a vanity, I know. But I think I deserve it. And it would please my men. You are 19. You're too young to be senator. Leave alone, consul. My dear boy, you've been listening to bad advice. You have no experience. You have no connections. He has an army. Well, I'll speak with the other senators. We'll see if it's possible. Though, if you were to be consul, you must promise to be guided by my counsel. It is an office of high complexity. And I am well aware of my inexperience. I will not utter a word without your advice, your consent. Well, perhaps something can be done. Bumptious young fool. The consul's chair, indeed. Yes, but you will give it to him. Oh, why not soothe his vanity? He can do no harm. He will wear the purple as he wears armor, like a child playing at grown-ups. Come, Tyro! 